Okay, hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, I usually don't do two videos in one day, but I just felt like sharing this, okay? I did my first, I got my first taste of MMA. I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu class today. Uh, before I go any further, okay? If there's a class, uh, a gym near you, go try it out, man. They'll probably give you one free uh, class. That's why I went and tried it. You know, they gave me one free class. And the guy's like, hey, come on in, come try class. If you enjoy it, we'll give you, you know, we'll set you up. Just go there, ask for a free trial, and you won't get disappointed, man. I had a blast, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly everything we did, okay? I went there 15 minutes early because I was like, man, I, I just want to, you know, look around, you know, scope stuff out. This isn't, this, this, okay, the building I went to, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not a pure MMA gym. Uh, they have a bunch of other stuff there, but it's a big area, man. Uh, the MMA section, they got a big pad area. They have a ring, uh, like eight heavy bags, two speed bags, um, a cage, you know, for simulation. They don't have a full cage, but they have a wall that's a cage. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think it's a nice gym, man. Everything looks clean, you know, the mats don't feel grungy. Uh, you know, I wrestled, I, we wrestled a little bit in middle school, and the mats always felt like ass, and, you know, you, you, you don't feel like, like, touching it, you know, uh, but these mats felt really clean, so the very first thing I did was pretty much just sit there, and I had to wait 15 minutes, because I was like, coming early is a good thing, coming early is a good thing, but it was a bad mistake, I had to wait there 15 minutes, I just sat there, uh, people were using the mats for yoga, so I didn't want to like make any noise or anything, so I just sat there silently. Finally, the MMA class started. Uh, not too many people joined this class, which, in my opinion, is a good thing, okay? There's three other guys, okay? Well, two other guys first, okay? Uh, the, our teacher, he's a big dude, man. I'd say like 190 pounds, maybe 200 pounds, easy, okay? He got us jumping rope. And man, these guys, I don't know how they do it, but they're just jumping like left foot, right foot, left foot. And they they look like they've done this a lot. And I'm just jumping up and down. I'm like, holy fuck, man. These guys are good, man. And my, my, my heart rate was already going. I was like, holy god damn, man. How are these guys doing this? You know, how are these guys doing this? I was like, oh, man, I'm dying, man. It, it was my first part. I, I got intimidated, you know. I was intimidated going there by myself. I was intimidated waiting by myself. But this is the part I was getting intimidated. I was like, man, I'm going to be the last, you know. I'm going to be the last to get picked, you know. <laughs> if, if there's, like, uh, two leaders, you know, I'm going to be I'm gonna be a person that's going to get picked last, man. I was like, oh, man, I, I got to suck this up, man. So I just kept going, 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 going. Probably went for, like, ten minutes. Ten minutes does not sound like a long time, but ten minutes skipping rope. That's a goddamn long time, man. Finally, we got into uh, some other drills. We did this thing called a uh, uh, hip escape. We basically just lied on our back and pretended uh, to push someone's uh, knee away from them and try to, you know, create space and get back to your feet. So we just practiced lying on our back and pushing back and forth, going both ways, probably 20 foot distance. Uh, then we got up. Uh, then we did this wall walk thing. Basically, put your you do a handstand, your feet against the wall, and just walk yourself across. Uh, well, not like this, you know, not like that. Uh, you know, like this. Hang on, like that. Okay. Uh, probably a 15 foot distance. We did that uh, two times. Then we went and did some uh, diamond push-ups. So you do a diamond push-up. Uh, jump up to where your hands are, walk your hands out, another dime push up. We did that a few times. Finally, we got into a Kimura from Mount. Man, I got to experience a Kimura, like not full on pressure, but Kimura. It, uh, man, they hurt, man. Not full on pressure, you know, but I can feel the pain. Man, they hurt. They hurt, man. They're not fun. They are not fun, man. Uh, it really. You know, it looks easy on TV, but, you know, the amount of steps in Kimura, very fascinating. And then doing it from one arm, getting used to it, then jumping to the other arm, your brain's fucked, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh man, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, it was pretty interesting. Uh, did that a few, few times. Then we uh, transitioned that 
for to the Kimura from Full Mount. So what what we did was got partnered up. One guy's on the b bottom, you know, just switch back and forth. And then finally the instructor's like, okay, so let's say you can't get the Kimura, and the guy's like too strong, and he escapes by throwing his arm up. Uh, up. This is what you do. You turn it into a, a straight arm lock, and that's basically you're just bending the guy's arm like that. And I, I was like, holy man, there's so many goddamn submissions, man. I want to see that on this card, man. If someone, this Toronto card, if someone does a straight arm lock, I'm gonna mark out. I'm like, I I did that. I did that, man. I did it. Uh, we did that, same thing, one guy's on the back and then switch, uh, you know, pretty easy, at this rate my, my heart rate's completely fine, and then we got to the thing that tired me out, man, uh, I think we went like three minutes, uh, guy starts to mount and you wrestle and go for submissions, three minutes is a long, was, was it three minutes, maybe two minutes, but those two minutes are long, very, very long, very, 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 very long, very long. God, I was goddamn tired, man. I found out later the very first guy I wrestled, you know, I did uh, the two drills with, uh, you know, he showed up with the gi. So I was like, holy fuck, man. I got a guy, I'm wrestling a guy with a gi, okay? Uh, you guys can't judge me. You know, I'm just sitting in front of my iPod here, but I'm pretty athletic, uh, and uh, I was a pretty decent wrestler, you know, I'm pretty explosive. So, uh, the guy starts, uh, the guy mounts me, okay, so I'm on my back, and uh, it's just a stalemate, okay, it's just a stalemate. Finally, he makes a move, and, uh, you know, I create the, I hip escape, create the distance, and, uh... I just push him, man. <laughs> like, he didn't even put up a fight. I just pushed him, and I'm in his, like, I'm in full mount, man. I moved from his, uh, you know, full guard to full mount. It was nothing. I was like, what is this, man? And, uh, it was ugly, but I got him an arm triangle. And I was like, what the fuck? I just tapped this guy out before he could tap me. At this point, I put, I expended all my energy, man. Like, like I, I blew my load in like one minute, man. But I tapped him out, man. I felt really, really proud of that. Uh, you know, second time, you know, I start on him. Like, it, I'm full mount. I'm on top of him, okay? Stalemate, 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 stalemate. Uh, what happens? Does he tap me out? Yeah, he taps me out, man. It's just still, I stayed in his full mountain, and, you know, I'm just gassed out at this point, man. He taps me out with, like, like a bottom, like, like arm triangle, which is really, really weak, man. Really, really weak. Really, really weak. You know, even when I was gassed out, tired, I was like, God, I got tapped out by that. You know, that's pathetic. Pathetic. Uh... Found out that guy, he's only been training a month, uh, so, you know, he, he got tapped out from a guy that trained one day. I felt really, really proud of that, so I did pretty damn good, man. Yeah, a little bit bragging there, but it was my moment. Man, got two minutes left. Second guy, found out he weighs 185 pounds. I weigh 145 pounds. Not a good recipe, man. Uh, I start out on the bottom again. I reverse this guy. I don't know how I did it. Grab his back. The guy's too freakishly strong, man. You can blame him on bad technique, too. I I sunk in my hooks, you know. I watched enough UFC to know the base. Sunk in my hooks. Changed it to a triangle, you know, because my hooks aren't doing anything. <laughs> bad mistake, man. I fell off. And he basically, you know, it might have been his 35-pound advantage or 45-pound advantage. He just ripped me down, threw me on my, my, uh, on my back, and it was just a draw. Until he, the next round, he starts on, um... Uh, on top of me, and he chokes me out with a, like, half-heartedly Kimura, or he taps me out with a half-hearted Kimura, which is really, really weak. Uh, I was gassed, man. Then I, my final battle was against the teacher, man. The teacher ragdolled me, you know. He knows how to distribute his weight. It was like a rock on top of me. I got, he basically put me in all chokes, except for anything that breaks, okay? So no arm bars, no Kimuras, but I was dead tired, man. But yeah, 20 seconds left. Very, very fun. Definitely going to get a gym membership. Uh, if you guys have a gym close to you, join up, man. You won't regret it. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for watching.